Yup, exactly. We're gonna be using the Mavic 2 Pro to record a vlog and to get some cinematic footage without even flying it. Uh, the noise you're hearing right now is basically the Mavic 2 trying not to overheat. Well, at least it doesn't shut down like our Sony Alpha 6500 does. And since the Mavic doesn't record any audio, we're gonna be using the Sony's audio to talk to you, basically. Man, this is not practical at all, but that's exactly why we're making this video. So weird. All right, let's test out one of my favorite shots ever. That is the orbiting shot. I'm gonna be orbiting around uh, Aler, who's filming me right now. Holding it like this is kind of difficult, so I must kind of take it from the bottom. Nailed it. I have no idea whether the shot is in focus or out of focus. You don't even need a separate camera or a gimbal. You can just get a drone because you're getting 4K, 10 bit. You're getting extremely good stabilization. And plus, it feels fresh. It feels like a fresh design and I really appreciate that. I mean, look how actually smooth the shots are when it comes to orbiting. I think that's a lot smoother than uh, most of us can do even with a gimbal and a camera. And now let's run. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, on, I'm I get, loving I this. I get dizzy, literally. <laughs> the most interesting thing about it is the fact that you can adjust the aperture on this drone, which means I'm gonna go super close to the subject gonna switch to manual focus and gonna focus as close as possible to see whether we can get that bulk oh. man honestly this felt great like you could legit see how it went from out of focus to in focus let me tell you a little story which actually happened to me quite a bit ago when I first got my drone, I was so excited, right? And once there was a situation where I was filming myself uh, in winter, it was super cold. And of course, the Sony battery died, right? So what I did is I turned on the drone and I was actually doing some gimbal shots with the drone. It felt so good and the footage is actually not bad. We're gonna compare Sony to the drone and you have to determine which was which. I'm not gonna give you the answer in the video. You have to determine that in the comment section below. Enjoy that. After shooting with this for an hour, <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm really, really surprised. When we did these tests, I thought like, ah, come on, there's no comparison, right? And when we started doing these stabilization tests and slow-mo tests, man, there, there are so many things this drone can do with my Sony can't. It, it's just insane. Like the stabilization is mind-blowing. You can run full speed and it's actually gonna be super, super smooth, a lot smoother than 
our Sony with a gimbal. Like what? If I ever need to film a scene where the most important thing is stabilization, I would much prefer this drone over our Sony camera. Like, I can't believe I'm saying this. It's actually quite shocking. We have to go to the editing room and see if the footage is actually sharper than the Sony. If it is, I'm selling the Sony and filming with the drone, bye. To be honest with you, I'm shocked. After playing around a bit in post, I'm impressed how well Mavic went against the Sony. When it comes to vlogging, yeah, not very practical because of no audio and it feels weird talking to a drone. Sony's 4K is sharper, the slow motion 120 frames per second and 1080p looks a bit better, the color science is also more pleasing, there's a lot more room in post, but... Here comes the good part, even on a gimbal the Sony is nothing compared to the Mavic 2 Pro. We were shocked to find out how damn good the stabilization was. Even if the gimbal is so small on the Mavic 2 Pro, it does a fantastic job. All in all, I never thought this experiment would end up being so fun. And I do believe, because of this reason, this video deserves a huge thumbs up. You know the drill. Peace out. Man, this thing is so cute.